Hey guys, so today this is going to be part three of the modifications to stuff I've made to the Romanian rucksack and the Polish bread bag. We've kind of got a break from the rain right now, so I'm going to show you guys uh, kind of where the, the backpack and the satchel are at this point. Here it is, carrying it on. I hope the wind's not too strong. So you'll notice I've added a waist belt. I took that off a, another, another backpack. It's got a chest strap here. Thumb straps, pull down. And these I really like tensioners very very handy okay so this is what the setup looks like when it's on me now I'm going to uh, take this off and show you guys a little more up close what all the parts look like so we're going to work from the bottom up this waste pack I uh, salvaged off of a uh, Ozark trails pack that I got from Walmart years ago and it is attached by the means of four Chicago screws through two pieces of leather here. You see that? That's actually inside. Uh, that leather loops around inside of the pack itself where the, uh, the metal frame is. It's got a removable frame to it, internal frame on the pack. Moving up, I replaced a lot of the original. This piece right here is original. And it's where the old strap used to come out. They have a completely different system of uh, hooking up their packs. They went right to their belts. So what I did was I clipped off the end of the metal here. Attached this leather. Put a leather strap all the way through. Attach this plastic piece here. And put a thumb rest right over the top. And then on the back side of the pads, I used a uh, an old, the canvas off of an old army butt pack. Put foam on the inside and sewed that into place. These are the original straps. This should have been made sometime around the 80s. So you got padding, straps, and on the inside of this seam right here, I uh, also off of that Ozark Trails backpack, I took this little chest tightener adjuster, used two D-rings, Right here for the tension. On the other side is the matching set with just a leather strap. Works really, really good. Much more comfortable. And as you guys can see, this is nice and tight. Uh, there's actually a, uh, a setting pad that I've made that's in here that I also use as part of the frame. And I'll show you that here in a second. Huh, I wonder where that could be. Um, I adjusted where the original straps came out of this, moved them over to the side, so this leather here is new, and then I wanted to be able to put a little more weight on the pack comfortably, so I also off the old army butt pack, I attached this tensioner, as you can see right there, and that works really, really good. You can make the pack very, very comfortable. So on the bottom of the pack, you can see the other side here where those Chicago screws are in place. If you take the screws off, you can detach this really easy. Can you guys hear that hawk? He's yelling about something. Attach points, and there's actually leather on the inside of the bag on the opposite of this. So you can't just pull the thread 
through the canvas. There's leather, there's leather backing all of this up. Again, here's the original Romanian rucksack leather. Uh, I wanted the corners to be extra strong, so I sewed in leather over the edges here. And where you guys see this white stuff, that's actually a, uh, a leather treatment that I made out of beeswax, paraffin, and coconut oil. And uh, that's just a little extra. It works really good, though. It's great for the leather. <sighs> Molly attached here and here. And also, as you can see here on the sides, Molly there, Molly here. I added this. It's an adjustable tension strap so that way you can loosen or tighten as you need when you've got a load on on this side is the same a couple molly strips over here again here and then more uh, or another side tensioning strap I left the original canvas attachments there as well they seem to be working pretty good. Probably the, the latest feature I've added this pack are these quick disconnect buckles. Um, I like the look of the leather and the two D rings here. Uh, you can really cinch the top of this pack down tight. However, undoing these is slow. So what I ordered, two metal quick release clips and they work fantastic um, supposed to be rated up to 400 pounds of pressure I just know that they are easy on uh, easy easy to hook up easy to unhook and so whenever you're trying to dig into your pack really fast it's no problem save some time as you see, the Polish bread bag sits on the top flap. And on the side of the bread bag, I've added a couple little strips of molly there. And the same on the other side. I've also added some thicker leather to the release system. I felt like where the fabric came around the corner here with this little bitty square ring I thought that was a weak spot so I covered that in leather as well so it's no longer such a stress point that I had to worry about and then also here and here I used leather covered right over the top of the canvas strapping and shouldn't have to worry about it uh, snapping through anytime soon so let's take this apart i used i think they're called grimwalds or grimlocks there's three of them We've got one here and it will tuck right up underneath the old original piece of leather that was on the romanian rucksack let's get this down here i hook mine through the rings on the Polish bread bag right there and there there okay so that is off set the backpack back up I also use the uh, on the army butt pack I stole the canvas handle off of that put some leather around it for a good grab handle and we'll get into uh, the rest of the backpack in here in just a second now show you a few changes that I made it made with the uh, old bread bag okay so I'm going to start off with a quick detach 550 cord handle just another place to grab a hold of and it's always good to have 550 cord I also added some more nylon and a better shoulder strap. This is off an old 511 push bag.
this is also off a push pack, so you can put the, the uh, straps. I can fold them up and tuck them right back in that. So I left this little tension strap in place, which works great. But one thing I did add was this soft leather top that you see through here. And what that is, it's on a little clip, a little spring fed clip, 550 cord through it. And with this, I can either loosen or by grabbing either side of the knot, tighten the top of the bag. So that way you don't get this spill out over the edges, which I didn't like. I didn't like the idea of my gear fall, falling out. So that is there. Little keychain add on. This uh, fits the WSK sheath. So I can literally uh, screw the sheath into the inside of the satchel. It rides like that with the handle over here. Okay, so this is where the Polish Brig bag is at right now, guys. I'm, and it's a great piece of kit, and I've had so much fun modifying it. And it goes really well with the Romanian rucksack. So before we go inside the rucksack, one thing I, I want to show you guys. When I got this rucksack... It came with these straps. Uh, some of them were to hold the helmet down and actually strap that to the outside of the canvas flap. I just took them and I saved these back because they will fit through that little side hole there, there. It'll fit through the straps on the bottom if I'm wanting to attach a sleeping bag or something like that. I can attach them to the sides if I want. So, I held on to these. Another thing that uh, I carry with this bag, I saved some of the canvas whenever I was uh, working on this. So, I've got some pieces of canvas, I've got some thread, regular needle. I've also got, if you can just see, a couple of the large needles that I use for leather work. That's how I got like the patches on and stuff like that. This is my repair kit. One of the reasons why I was looking for a canvas and leather backpack was simply because of ease of repair. So that always goes with it. Okay, so let's go inside the bag. And I want to show you also the straps, nice, thick, oiled leather. Takes a while to undo them, but for tensioning, they work wonderful. This piece of leather here um, backs up the handle, so that way you don't have to worry about pulling through the canvas. And here on the flap, this is actually. <laughs> Okay, I was looking for a pocket and I needed some canvas. This is actually the flap of the old Army butt pack I was telling you about. I've made a little, little pocket there where uh, real quick you can just throw an item or two inside. It's been pretty handy. And then I also made this pouch, which is really handy to throw cell phones and things like that in. You can still reach in and grab it from the side if you need it, but it's up and out of the way. 550 cord replacing the uh, old cotton cord that was on this. We'll open that up. Again, all the corners are covered with new leather. This is the uh, set pad I was telling you guys about. It's actually a cutting board, a plastic cutting board with foam pad on the other side, all sewn up. Really handy. You guys have probably seen that in several videos. 
We have this spindle leather right here. This is new. Uh, sew that into place to hold the shoulder straps. And then also, if you guys can see it there, I don't think you can see it here too. For the internal frame, I used uh, eighth inch rebar. And it goes all the way down into the bottom of the pack. Okay, so there's the leather at the bottom of the pack. It's got the bend in it. And if you can see, the rebar goes right down and through that. What you can't tell from here is that the rebar is actually has a cut right in the middle. So it's two separate pieces, which allows you to take the internal frame out. Okay, so you can see this. Put that back like that. Pop this out. Reach inside the pack. There's one. Same for the other side. Through. There's two. is the Romanian rucksack without the waistband attachment and without the internal frame on the inside or the Polish bread bag attached to it. I use it a lot like this just for like daily hikes and stuff like that out in the woods. It works out really really good. As you can tell right now <laughs> guys we got a thunderstorm on the way. Looks like I need to wrap this up. Okay, so this is without the frame or the waist pack. Just so you guys can kind of see what the size is. From everything I've read, it's about a 35 liter pack. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, this is part three of different mods I've done with either the rucksack or the bread bag, and I've had just a ton of fun with them. Uh, anyway, hope you guys are doing great. Take care, and God bless.